Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to episode number 15, I do believe, of our Resident Rise 3 Let's Play. <laughs> Last episode, we were dealing with, uh, something. Hold on, let my brain plays. Oh, Tinkers! Tinkers! <laughs> I had to let my brain plays come into play. I couldn't remember. But yeah, we were working on this monstrosity, and yes, that is a, that is something important that we were discussing just a second, but... I left off the end of the last episode saying that I created this smeltery for a reason, other than, you know, making that cool pick that's in my hotbar, which, by the way, has been upgraded big time. I've been doing some stuff off screen. Oh, I'll, I'll explain these two in a second. I don't think I explained that yet. Um, but yeah, I've been leveling up my pick off screen. Uh, as you level the pick in Iguana Twigs, I think the highest level is Master, which I am at right now. You get random stuff put on it, like... Like, uh, I didn't get to choose, like, uh, auto smelting was a uh, random, durability plus 500, which is a diamond, was random. It put on a layer of haste, which was random, and then I think it, like, put 100 for fortune, which you need, I think, 450 to get fortune 3, but then I increased it. I, you know, I put fortune on myself, so we can have fortune 3. But the only thing I don't like is that it's auto smelt. Uh, I've never put auto smelt. On any of my stuff also I wasn't planning on putting auto repair because I was probably just gonna throw a capacitor on it you know do energy but oh well hey wh what the heck what the hey it's our first one I, I really like it it actually mines really fast I think we still have let me look we still have yeah we still have four modifiers left so we can throw that all on the redstone if we want or if I think of anything else or if you guys have any uh, suggestions on what to put on there I can't put silk touch unfortunately since we have fortune uh, if it wasn't for it was randomly put on there for fortune, I would have probably put Silk Touch, but, uh, oh well. Anyways, also, I got someone, someone, I got somebody telling me in the comments to do this, and I already started doing it, but he also told me something really cool, but I'll explain this in a second. But, if you put Chainmail in the Smell Tree, it'll, it'll give you Steel, which is really cool for what we're going to be doing today, because we really wanted to get in Big Reactors last, uh, episode, but I couldn't, because I didn't have any Steel, but... I, I started doing this, but I ran out of uh, chain mail because I only had the chain mail that those cool uh, mobs that dropped, you know, with the, you know, the, the cool mobs with that weird thing that popped up in the top of the screen. Yeah, <laughs> I could do words today. But yeah, uh, they dropped chain mail with some weird enchantments on it, but I, I took all that, I smelted it down, and I think I have a bunch of steel up now. I have 605 steel just from that armor, but also, I remember saying at the beginning of the series, and I never got around to doing it, you can make chainmail, which I have auto, uh, look, I even have some still left in here, <laughs> which you can, I have put on auto crafting, all you have to do for chainmail, which is really, really cool, if you guys are ever interested in making chainmail, is you, all you have to do is make something called these chain links and then which is just iron nuggets which uh, we have a ton of iron and then you just put in the fa oh, the form of the 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 recipe as in any kind of recipe for armor which is really really cool uh i don't i never really understood why minecraft made chain melt uncraftable if you weren't in like creative or something because there's no way for you to get fire i don't understand their logic behind that <laughs> if you guys could tell me Please tell me, but I, I never understood that uh, that logic, so I'm really glad that um, Redstone Armory put that in. So it's really cool. Uh, so, yeah, we could do that, but uh, I'm really glad he pointed that out, because uh, really, we're probably going to be more using more steel in the future. So, yeah, <laughs> I still got a lot in here i got to take out. So, for this episode, I was wanting to get our reactor going. And to do that, we're going to have to go at Big Reactor... We're going to need to make a bunch of this. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of this. Just make a bunch. Throw that in there. Throw all this back in there. Oh, squirt into me. Thank you. I never understood why I did that. I, 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 I shift double click. Why are you doing that to me? So, let's see. We're going to need a bunch of reactor casings. I want to go ahead and make... We're going to have a 9x9. Nine nine. I, I also need to um, pretty up the place down below. <laughs> don't don't make funny jokes about that. So we're gonna need an outlet port. Let's go. We're gonna need two of these. We're gonna need a power tab, of course. One of these. We're gonna be needing a uh, reactor glass. We'll do some of this. Okay. Ooh. Is that taking? Ooh. 
That's taking fuse quartz. Hold on, do we... It doesn't take regular glass anymore? Glass. It used to just take regular glass. Interesting! So I guess you have to use hardened glass for that now. That's, that's, um... It's very interesting. I wonder how much I have. Three stacks? Ah, oh, that'll be plenty. That'll be plenty. If we need more, we'll come make more. So we've got that. We're going to be needing a control. Oh, no, nope, no. Nope. We're going to need to make a controller. See, this stuff really isn't that expensive if you have the stuff. Like, I mean, diamond. I mean, that's not. That's nothing to us anymore. We have tons of diamonds. Uh, plug. I always call these the plug. I, I, even though it's the, it's the fuel control rod. I'll just go ahead and make five for right now. I don't think we're going to be needing that many. And I think we'll make... Yeah, that seems fine. And we used up all of our steel. <laughs> Luckily, we have some down there. So let me see. We got... We're going to need our casing. Let's grab... Ooh, we only have 32 left. Uh, let, let's hold on. Steel. Ooh, we used up all of it. Hold on. Fluid. Conduit. I have it on me. What I've been doing to, to extract the steel from the smeltery, if you didn't know, you can make it call something called an ingot cast, which is really cool, which I've been keeping in here. And then I just put the ingot cast on here, throw a fluid conduit, you know, get rid of that. That always bugs me. Even though it doesn't, it doesn't do anything sitting there, it bugs me. So let's do extract that and, yep, squirting on in there. Sweet. So let's go ahead and grab ender chest and item conduit. Squirt that there, squirt that down, and extract none. And insert. And that's going to be going for a little while so we can get some more steel. I can't believe I used up all that steel on those fuel rods. My bad. Uh, anyways, while that's going, let's do a little bit, uh, let's do a little mini update. I haven't checked on the cobble in a while, and I'll explain that in a second. So, ooh, we have 25 million cobble. We're getting there. We're over halfway there. Uh, this thing, I was making some soul shards off screen. Now, if you don't know how to make a soul shard, it's really, really simple. All you need to do is make that configuration. Of course, we have plenty of netherrack. We have plenty of endstone since we have access to the end now. Uh, all you have to do is get a piece of glowstone and a diamond and stick it like here. And the reason and the reason I didn't record this is because for well right now it's Thursday it's Thursday night Let's click on that see that's all you have to do just put it in there put the glowstone in the middle and click it with a diamond you get a solar shard back but it's Thursday night at 11:30 p.m. and my roommate's been in the room all day and I haven't had time to record <laughs> yeah that's uh, sad but oh well but this I yeah I've been doing a bunch off screen but I love it all this out I use the filler. Uh, to, you know, to level it out because I didn't feel like doing this manually. And then I had it fill in with grass. And then I torch spam, of course. And then I left this open because I plan on, when I set up my spawners, I want to set it up over here. I just kind of picked out this spot because it was closest. Also, off screen, I've already filled up, you know, with the soul shards. I've already filled up two tier 5 soul shards. Uh, with an Enderman spawner, which uh, I ended up having to do with the Angry Enderman. I don't think there's really a difference with that. The only reason I did Angry Enderman over regular Enderman is because it was a lot easier to find. And then I did a Blaze spawner, which is really gonna, be, which was really really easy because you could just go through the Nether and right-click the uh, the Soul Shard on a spawner, and then it gives you plus 200 kills, which is really easy. And then I started doing another Enderman, and I was like, ah, this is boring. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Also, off screen, I want to show you guys something. I've been doing some Thongcraft, right? I do a lot of Thongcraft off screen because I don't want to bore you guys with Thongcraft. If you guys want to see more Thongcraft on screen, please tell me. I will do it on screen. Uh, I've been setting up my infusion altar. Uh, yes, I still have the uh, amazing crystals, the crystals of amazingness, which, by the way, have been keeping my, my thing stabilized, guys. It, it's, it's useful. But I've also been... Uh, making a bunch of different aspects and putting them in jars so we can use them during the infusion altar. Uh, I have, I've got a clip. I, ooh, I like my goggles. <laughs> I love these goggles. It lets me see, I wish you could combine these goggles with the Wavering Helmet. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think you can. If you can, tell me in the comments. Please tell me in the comments. I'd love to do that, but I can't. Not that I know of, anyways. Uh, I, I recorded a clip. 
How's it going? <laughs> I recorded a clip of me doing an effusion in the altars because I promised you guys I would do that. You know, if I promise it, I'm going to do it. But uh, just to show you guys what it's all about, I think I'm going to cut. Oop. I think I'm going to cut to that right now so you guys can see it. <laughs> just so you guys know what the infusion's all about. I think it's me making silver wood. Uh, I actually recorded it a couple, a little while ago because I've already made a really cool wand with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of a clip from me making the fusion altar, using the infusion altar. And I'll see you guys in just a couple seconds, okay? <laughs> see you in a bit, guys. So let's uh, set one here, one here, one here. It should be one in each corner. I'm missing one. Which one am I missing? I feel like I'm missing one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Never. I'm not. I'm not missing one. Okay. So we should be able to right-click the matrix. And it should suck up all the goo. Look at this. I. This is the one thing I really love about Thumbcraft is it has some of the coolest visuals, ever. And I just, I just really love how they did it. The only for the unfortunate thing about this ritual, or about the rituals in general, is that they're so slow. With the with the sucking in of the items, of course that that takes time. You have to suck in from all different jars. Of course, I'm out of. Uh, I don't remember which one that was. I think that was air. But I'm out of that now, so I have to go make some more of that. And then it starts after it gets everything, all the aspects out of the jar. It starts sucking in all of the thing image bobbers on the on the pedestals. <laughs> As I promised, I promised you I'd show you guys. So I'm, I am, this shouldn't take very much longer, and it should suck in the last one, and BAM! There we go! We got our wand, ca we got our, uh, our other silver wood rod. Alright guys, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of tidbit, you know, doing some infusion stuff. That's, that's kind of, I really love Thomcraft for all the visual stuff, but that infusion altar is slow. And it takes a lot of different stuff to get, you know, to put that all together. Oh, Lord, that is slow. Oh, well, that was weird. <laughs> that duped my thing for a second. Uh, but yeah, I made this really, really cool scepter. It's a lot better than my golden one. It's uh, it's a Thomcraft. It's not Thomcraft, but it's a Thomium cap scepter with a uh, silver wood binding. Yes, I found the silver wood tree. You don't know how long I looked for that bad boy. I ran, I, I went so far in a lot of different directions to try to find that thing but yeah i finally found it yeah so that was really good so what i'm gonna do for down here for right now i'm just gonna set some marble just some regular marble i'm really falling in love with marble by the way if you haven't noticed i used it a lot in building i just i've been using it a lot in building lately you know with that floor i just really like how all, it has all the chiseled textures i really really like marble for that and it's the closest thing to quartz without being quartz you know it has a really really nice white look to it I just like like white looking kind of like blocks you know like pure blocks also I really like um, quartz and burnt quartz that those are really good pure blocks I love those it's just, it's just I really like blocks that are kind of plain you know kind of stony kind of blocks you know so let's grab this, my all inbox, so I can get rid of all this. Goodbye. And that should squirt back into our system. Go away. Thank you. I think I'm missing acceleration cards on that, because that's going really slow. I don't, uh, let's hope that's not going to get in the way. If it is, I will move it. Um, let's go ahead and start laying this reactor out. If you've never done big reactors, basically this is just a multi-block structure. And I think I'm missing something there. That's off. I haven't been down. I don't ever come down here, so that's, that's off. Why are you there? better so this is a multi-block structure i think i'm gonna make it a nine by nine so we are squeezing it in a bit one two three four five six seven eight nine nine thank give me that back thank you uh, hopefully we'll have enough blocks i don't know if we will or not if we don't i'll cut and go make some more but i think we should i didn't really plan this out beforehand but yeah i think we're gonna do a nine by nine uh go up one one, two, three, four. Counting with Valentine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, nine by nine by eight, <laughs> apparently. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think we can only go up eight blocks, which is unfortunate, but it's going to be nine by nine by eight. So it's not going to be a perfect cube, which is going to hurt my OCD, but we're just going to deal with it. 
Uh, let's go up. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have enough um, reactor glass. Because I was really wanting to encase the sides in reactor glass. That steel, that steel thing really throws me off. Because that's just more crafting I have to do. I mean, I'm turning iron straight into steel. But steel. But but, but it's, <laughs> it's steel. Yeah. It's still bad. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, saying uh, two different tenses of steel. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna fill in the bottom. You don't. The way you do reactors is it's basically the same thing for any size. You can make this any size in any shape. Well, not any shape. It has to be a cube, of course. But you can make it any size. I really hope we have enough reactor glass. I don't think we will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's do builder's wand. Yeah, I have a fun we want. Uh, there you go. Oh, you don't know. You never know. You never know. We might have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For right now, a nine by nine for us. This should be plenty of power, and then we can upgrade our quarry, which, by the way, has finished already. It has been that amount of time, so we can redo the quarry. Hopefully, I can figure out what's wrong with the deep dark, so we can put it in the deep dark. Oh, we might have enough blocks. I might have. Ooh, we might have enough blocks. We might have enough blocks. One, two, three, four. Five. Oh, nope. Uh, wrong. Wrong. Negative. Give me those back. I really, really hope we do. Because I need to do the top in reactor glass, too. I want to, anyways. This is going to be <laughs> really hard to get to these access ports. One, two, three, four, five. If I don't think. Nope. Do we have... Yep, we're going to go ghetto style. <laughs> we have to go ghetto style, guys. It doesn't really matter how it looks as long as it's functional. No one's ever going to see it. And I will come down here off screen and fix it, I promise, guys. It's going to bug me, too. Two, three, four. Got it. <laughs> that looks terrible. So let's go ahead and put in the fuel rods. I think we're going to do... Hmm. I think we're just going to do this for now. And then we'll expand later. Let's go ahead and do these. Hopefully we'll have enough fuel rods. We're really low on resources when it comes to steel. Because I didn't really want to make that much chain mail. Uh, one more. And then... I think I'm going to have to... Oh, this is... The, oh, the blood moon's rising too. So let's see if we can get this done before the blood moon comes. Let's see, here, here, let's go ahead and start putting these plugs in, because we only have five. We only made five, so this is perfect. Plug, 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 and one more. One more, give me plug, and bam. Bam, bop, boop, bada, bop, pow. <laughs> get this in, get this in. Greatest commentary ever. <laughs> And this should be the last piece for the roof. Make sure all that's good. Sweet. Let's go through here. Now, which way do we want this facing? Because which way is north? That way, so we'll have this way. This is going to be the main face. Let's do reactor controller here. And that completed the multi-block. If you didn't see that, that completed the multi-block. And power tap, I will put the power tap, I guess, right here. It really doesn't matter. And then the inlet and outlet ports, I'm going to put right beside each other. If, oh, I wonder what that was. So let's go ahead and fix this. Put that, make that outlet. Sweet. Oh, we barely had enough blocks. We only had six left and then 17 reactor casings. So luckily we were able to get all that done. So let's go up here. I'm going to sleep really quick. So we can get rid of the stupid blood moon. I, I don't like the blood moon. Oop, that's over here. I don't like the blood moon. You know, it makes it all red. The mobs go crazy. I don't like it. It's just, ugh. So let's go ahead and grab, um, we're going to need something else. Oh, I totally forgot. We're going to need the, f the coolant. Ooh, no, I don't have that prepared. Let's just go ahead and grab the fuel. I'm going to get two barrels, and I'm going to do... I think I'm just going to do transfer nodes. So, barrel. 
If I can make... Oh, can't make... Oh, don't have any barrels. Barrel! <laughs> if I could... I could spell barrel right. Come on, Bow. Come on! Work with me here. So let's make two better barrels. What am I missing? Slabs? Half slabs. Wow. Uh, wood... Give me... Half slabs. Make me a bunch. Go away, half slabs. Sweets. And... Barrels! We got the barrels. Do I have... How do you make transfer nodes? I'm sorry, I keep touching my face and blocking the mic. Transfer nodes. Do I want to use transfer nodes? I think I, I... You know what? I've been using these lately, and I just like them because they're really cool. So let's use... I, they're called translocators. And they're from the translocator mod, if I can find them. Right here. Translocators. They're not that much expensive other than... They're not that expensive, and they're really, really cool looking. So, oh, give me those. And let's grab, oh, I'm just placing blocks everywhere today. <laughs> so let's grab the uranium, because we have more uranium than lorium. Urain, oop, I need to spell uranium. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's like really late, guys. I'm so sorry. But I had to get this recorded for you guys tomorrow. <laughs> My roommate just stepped out of the room. That's why I'm kind of jittery today. So let's go and put that there. That there. Oh, no. You know what? I like that. Never mind. If, no, never mind. I can't. Hmm. We can do We can do it like this. And then have the translocators like this. And like this. And to there. No. To there. Yep. And then, uh, hopefully these things won't mess with each other. Oh, oh, okay. That just happened. I'm missing glass there. That's a thing. So let's go ahead and put this one here. And this one here. And then, this is going to be the outlet. So I'm going to have this one go this way. And then this is going to be inlet. So it's going to be going in that way. Let's go ahead and throw all this in here. <laughs> I love, I love that animation. They do for the translocators. And look, it's filling up. Which is really cool. Now, here's the here's the difficult part. Hmm. If I turn it on now, it'll blow up. <laughs> I'm just joking. That would be really cool. Big reactors needs to add that. If it overheats too much, it'll blow up. It needs to do that. But it doesn't. For big reactors, the the way a reactor is ran, it's ran by efficiency. And the hotter a reactor gets the less power it will produce. So if I turn it on right now, it's going to get really hot because there's no coolant in it. And it's not going to produce nearly as much power. So for right now, there's no coolant in it. It's only producing a little over 5,500 RF. It's still going up, but it's not going to be producing as much. And also, it's going to be using up a lot more uh fuel and trying to keep it going because it's just burning it off it's just burning it it's not really doing anything with it so let's go ahead and turn it off what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and make a bunch of coolant what i'm probably just going to make is liquid ender because i don't have access to gelid cryothium because that's the best gelid cryothium is the best but i don't have access to gelid cryothium so I'm going to go make a lot of liquid ender for you guys, and we'll be right back. <laughs> See you in a bit, guys. Alright, welcome back, everybody. Yeah, I got everything crafted up for you guys. Uh, I got all of the enderium put in here, and I really like how it looks. I love the look of enderium. I love the green color. I, green is kind of like my favorite color, and yet it's not. I kind of like orange, and I kind of like blue. But I like green. I love the look of enderium. <laughs> and you can see there are still some air pockets in here. It really it doesn't matter. If you're ever going to set one of these up, you don't have to make it look like this. You don't have to fill up every single air block with Enderium. You can just uh, surround the core with it, and it will act just the same. But I, I had to have it look like this. I, I'm kind of OCD about that. I like the way my reactors look. You know, it's kind of like a badge of honor. Like, I've got a cool reactor. Look at it. <laughs> it looks really cool from the outside, too. So if we turn this thing on we will see it start gaining power 
and as you can notice the heat in the core isn't going up nearly as much it was it was topped out earlier and we are producing over 16,000 RF attack 17,000 RF attack my bad can we hit 18,000 can we hear 18,001 here we I can't do I can't do an auctioneer's talk but yeah 17 and a half thousand RF attack this thing is amazing this thing is producing well over what we have at spawn you know at our old village place so that's really cool. I'm glad we got that. And then we can reset up our quarry later at the max speed, which will be really, really useful. And you know what? I completely forgot uh, for the intro when we came in. I was starting to talk about um, my cool new things I made. And hold on. The other one's charging. <laughs> I made these two new uh, items. I don't think you guys have seen them yet. Uh, if, you've, if you've seen them, they've just been in my inventory. But yeah, I made the Wover the Wavern Flux Capacitor. I made the Encha en Enhanced Charm of Dislocation. Both of them are from Draconic Evolution. What the Flux Capacitor does, it's basically just a portable battery that powers both my hotbar and my armor. And it has 80 million RF charge storage, so it's really, really good. I love this thing. It keeps me going whenever... Uh, I, n I really never have to worry about it. It's, it's really, really amazing. And I also made this Enchanted Harm enchanted charm of dislocation which it basically completely makes this entire portal useless literally because let's just say i'm out in the i'm out in the wilderness somewhere and i really want to come back to the main base and i don't feel like walking so let's just do that <laughs> at the at the expense of ender pearls i can set waypoints anywhere in the world and i can go back to them let's say if i want to go to the altar we're at the altar. <laughs> Let's say I want to go to the Subscriber Hall of Fame. And load in. We're at the Subscriber Hall of Fame. It's really, really cool. And let's just say we want to go back to the village. And load in. We're back to the village. <laughs> at the expense of waiting for the chunks to load, we can teleport just about anywhere in this world as long as we've been there. Which is really, really awesome. If I'm ever just out and about and I really want to come back here really quickly, I love this thing. Sometimes I even forget I have it. <laughs> and, I, and, I'll, and I'll walk back anyways. But yeah, that's really, really cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. That is going to be doing it. That is for it for this episode. We are running long. I did check the time on the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. We got a new reactor, which looks amazing. If we could look, hold on, before we end off, look at that. It looks really cool down there at the bottom. And <laughs> I'm probably going to figure out what I'm going to do for our main power storage. I'm thinking, I'm thinking going into IO way of using the, what are they called? Capacitor banks. I'm thinking of doing that to start out with and then maybe moving on to Draconic Evolution with their energy cores. But I have to figure out where I'm gonna put it first. That's gonna be a thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. You know how much I love it. Also, I haven't asked you guys this yet, and I don't. Th and you know, usually I don't like to do this because it's kind of like me asking you guys to advertise me. But if you guys really like my content and you really want to, if you really want to spread the word of my content, go tell somebody. You know, go tell your best friend. Hey, there's this really cool Minecraft YouTuber who plays Resident Rise. He's really funny. You should go check him out. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, you can, I mean, if you really want to, you can. I'm not selling you to go do it. But if you really want to spread the word about the Valentine, go spread the word about the Valentine, you know? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I love making these episodes. I really do. I love sitting down and recording for you guys. And <laughs> making this episode was a pain in the butt. But oh well. It was a lot of fun. Um, I hope, I hope to see you next time. I hope your weekend is good because this should be coming out on Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Uh, hopefully, because I have two finals on Monday i got to study for. Ugh. Anyways, I'm done rambling. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!